Side 211 students, welcome to module three. This video is going to focus on the final project milestone one assignment, which is due here in this module. In my previous video, I went into depth about the literature review expectations and shared the literature review worksheet and example worksheet. So I'm not going to repeat that information here, but I will refer you back to the previous video, the 1-3 Milestone 1, Article 1 video for that information. I just want to review a couple details related to this assignment. The template for this assignment is the same that you used for Article 1 back in Module 1. You can click on this hyperlink within the rubric to take you to the Word document, the worksheet that you will fill in. However, with this submission, it's going to be a polished version of all three articles with all of the components required for each of the three articles. The articles were based on your chosen track, the track that you selected in Module 1, and the three articles that you reviewed in Modules 1, Modules 2, and Modules 3. There was one article per track Per module. By now you have received feedback on your module 1 submission that reviewed article 1. Use that feedback to make sure you have the necessary level of detail and include all the required components for this assignment. For each of the three articles be sure to include these key pieces of information for each section. I reviewed these once again in the previous video. And I also want to point out that you're only required to provide two to three sentences for each question for each article. Once again, if you need to include more detail, you can, but the requirement is only two to three sentences. So long as you meet the criteria and include the correct information, that is all that is required. I would also advise you to review the critical elements within the rubric as you put together your literature review. This will ensure that you know what's expected of you and you can be sure to include these components within your lit review. You're also going to complete this assignment using 12 point Times New Roman font, one inch margins, and your sources should be cited in APA format. If you have questions as you begin to work on your assignment, you can use the general questions form within your course or email your instructor for clarification. Good luck.